watching this. We all know that June 5th is observed as World Environment Day. Never doubt that a group of thoughtful and committed citizens can only change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has happened. Let's start this day with a quote by Dr. Margaret Mead. I invite you all to the ceremony. Since prayer aligns us with the purposes of God, I invite Shivalaya for the prayers. Spirit of God in the clear running waters, blowing to greatness the trees on the hills. Spirit of God in the finger of morning, fill the earth and bring into birth and blow where you will. Blow, blow, blow till I be, but the breath of the Spirit blowing in me. Down in the meadow, the willows are morning, sheep in the pastel and cannot lie still. Spirit of God, creation is groaning, fill the earth and bring into birth and blow where you will. Blow, blow, blow till I be, but the breath of the Spirit blowing in me. Thank you, Shivalya, for connecting us with God. There are no good schools without good principles. It just doesn't exist. And where you have good principles, great teachers come and they stay. They work hard and they grow together. And just like that, we have got a good principle. Let me call our beloved principal, Reverend Sister Dr. Lisa Therese, to deliver a message on our environment. We cannot have a society if we destroy the environment. Good morning everyone. The World Environment Day is celebrated on 5th June every year and it is the United Nations principal means for encouraging worldwide awareness and action for the protection of our environment. Held first in 1974, there has been a flagship campaigning for raising awareness on environmental issues ranging from marine pollution, human overpopulation, global warming to sustainable consumption and wildlife crimes. The famous author Leo Tolstoy once said it rightly. One of the first conditions for happiness is that the link between Man and nature shall not be broken. The theme of Environment Day 2021 is Ecosystem Restoration and the UN will launch the UN Decade of Ecosystem Restoration shortly. Ecosystem restoration can take many forms like planting trees, greening cities, rewilding gardens, changing diets, even do clearing up rivers and coasts. And we are the generation which can make peace with the nature. Ecosystem restoration means assisting in the recovery of the ecosystem which are damaged due to human activity as well as conserving the ecosystems which are still intact. Healthier ecosystems with richer biodiversity can contribute better to us like more fertile soil, bigger yields from timber and fish, and large stores of greenhouse gases. Today, let's join hands in hand to restore our planet and restore our ecosystem by collaborating in the programs of our government and by contributing in our own little ways by growing plants and trees, saving endangered species, and by changing our dietary habits. Let's pledge for a safer environment for ourselves and for the generations yet to come. Thank you, one and all. To present the logo of 2021's Environment Day, I invite Angel Paradise to present the logo. Namaskara, Nyan Kailas. Paristhiya Kurusi, Dr. Sadi Devi D. Manimala Redita, Karga, Jagaga. Varandumani Apura Galadu Veda, Pindu Kiri Apumim, Kutti Rugi, Nasham Vedakim. Karagal Kavana, Nadika 
மலரும் மலர்விழர்கள் பார்க்கெட்டுக மாமரங்கள் காவுகள் தகத்திடல் மனுஷரே நமுக்காசிரயம் அவனித்தியவும் கேரவிக்ஷ கூட்டங்கள சமிருத்தமாய் ஒரு கேரளம் காயமிடத்தில் வயல் நிகழ்த்தி காணனியோர் மயான் கூணுகள் போல் கொட்டி முளச்ச காற்றுகள் கொண்டலங்கிருதம் கருங்களோடு கால் பச்சிடம் வருந்தல முறைக்காலும் கோரி குடிச்சும் கோரி கழிச்சும் சாடு திமிட்டும் வளர்ந்திடால் கூட்டரோடும் முத்து கூடி காடும் மேடும் கண்டிடால் வேண்ட வேண்ட நசிப்பிக்கல்லே பிரகதியோடிட பழகணம் ஜீவித சைலி ரோகங்களும் துடச்சு மாற்றணம் இன்னும் டெங்கி நிப்ப கொடுணையத்தி லோகம் முழுவன் நிச்சலம் நாம் இரச்சல் நாம் பயுண்டு கருதலோடி முன்னேறிடாம் ஒருவேண்டி
Restoration ecology is a scientific study supporting the practice of ecological restoration, which is the practice of renewing and restoring the degraded, damaged or destroyed ecosystems and habitats in the environment by active human interventions and action. Effective restoration requires an explicit goal or policy, preferably an ambiguous one that is articulated, codified and accepted. Restoration goals reflect societal choices from among competing policy priorities, but extracting these goals is typically contentious and politically challenging. Rehabilitation of a portion of Johnson Greek to restore biosphere and flood control functions in the land, which had long been converted into pasture for cow grazing. The falling trees with roots jutting into the stream are intended to enhance here by a factor of three times, perhaps to its original course. Natural ecosystems provide ecosystem services in the form of resources such as food, fuel and timber, the purification of air and water, the detoxification and decomposition of waste, the regulation of climate, the regeneration of soil fertility and the pollination of crops. There is consensus in the scientific community that the current environmental degradation and destruction of many of the Earth's biota is taking place on a catastrophically short time scale. Scientists estimate that the current species extinction or the rate of Holocene extinction is 1000 to 10,000 times higher than the normal background rate. Habitat loss is the main cause of both species extinction and ecosystem service disline. Two methods have been identified to slow the rate of species extinction and ecosystem service disline. They are the conservation of currently variable habitats and the restoration of degraded habitats. Commercial applications of environmental restoration have been increased exponentially in recent years. Recently, on 21st May 2021, India lost one of its best-known environmental activists, Sundarlal Bahuguna, due to COVID-19. He was born on 9th January 1927 at Maroda Terry Garwal, Uttarakhand, British India. He pioneered a Chipko movement, a non-violent agitation aimed at protecting forests which sparked the collective mobilization of women to preserve forests. Between 1981 and 1983, he led a march across the Himalayas, ending with a meeting with the then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi, who then passed the legislation to protect the areas of Himalayan forest from tree felling. Bahuguna was also a leader of the movement opposed the Tehri Dam project. All of his work stemmed from his fundamental conviction that a stable ecology means a stable economy and society. Now that Bahuguna is gone, what would be the best way to acknowledge his massive contribution to India's environmental moment? His message of river and forest conservation must be respected by Uttarakhand and Centre by putting an immediate halt and independent reviews on destructive projects such as Char Dam Road widening and construction of higher dams, said Indian former Forest Service official Manoj Misra. That would indeed a fitting and gracious tribute to Sundarlal Bahuguna and his vision. Thank you. Thank you, Devalandala. It was a meaningful one. Marking the end of the ceremony, I invite Alicia for a vote of thanks. Let's nurture the nature so that we can have a better future. A very warm and graceful morning to all. Respected principal, manager, teachers and my dear friends. It's my privilege to propose a word of thanks and acknowledge the contributions of those who have really worked hard for making this event happen. First of all, I would like to thank our God Almighty for making this event a grand success. Because of his blessings and praise, we are able to make this event what it was. Next, it's a matter of great pleasure and honor for me to thank our principal, 
On behalf of each and everyone present here, I thank our respected principal, Reverend Sister, Dr. Lisa Teresa. We hope that with your energy, enthusiasm, and leadership, we will achieve greater excellence. Thank you, Sister. Next, I would like to thank our respected manager, Reverend Sister Wincy, for the effort that she had taken for making this event a grand success. Thank you, Sister. Next, I would like to mention my deep sense of appreciation to our coordinators of Nature Club, Mrs. Santa Teacher, Mrs. Shiva Teacher, Mrs. Krishnapriya Teacher, and Mr. Hari Krishna Saab for their untiring effort. Thank you all. Last but not the least, I would like to extend my sincere gratitude to all the people who have contributed their valuable time for protecting our environment. Thank you all. Once again, thank you all for your attention. Thank you and have a great day. Thank you, Anisha. I repeat the cliche that we always hear. As the future generation, it's our duty to protect the environment from time because we ought to do so and we've got no other choice. I repeat the quote from the beginning. Never doubt that a group of thoughtful, committed citizens can only change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. I thank you all for watching this.